Salesforce CPQ Interview Questions and Answers Q1. What are Custom Actions in Quote Line Editor? Answer. Custom Actions are buttons that sales reps can click to perform an action in the Quote Line Editor, Configurator, or several other detail pages. For example, sales reps can select to show a filtered section of your price book or to direct users to an internal or external URL. Salesforce CPQ ships with several custom actions you can enable in the Quote Line Editor. 1. Add Products 2. Add Favorites 3. Add Recommendations 4. Save 5. Quick Save 6. Reset Discounts 7. Delete Lines 8. Add Groups 9. Optional, All. Q2. What are Discount Schedules? Answer. Discount schedules are to create volume discounts based on quantity or terms for quote lines. Discounts can be applied based on range or slab. 1. Range. Products are discounted at the rate of whatever tier applies to the quoted quantity. Let's say you ordered 50 products under the discount schedule in the first two paragraphs. All 50 units receive a 50% discount. Only range type discount schedules can be termed discount schedules. 2. Slab units within a certain bound receive discounts equal to their tier's discount value. Let's say you ordered 30 products under the discount schedule in the first two paragraphs. Units 1 through 9 receive a 20% discount, units 10 through 19 receive a 30% discount, and units 20 through 30 receive a 50% discount. Slab discount products aren't allowed on partial orders. The discount unit field defines the type of discount applied to your quote line. 1. Percent applies the discount as a percentage of your quote line's list price. 2. Amount applies the discount as an amount taken off of your quote line's list price. This value is useful when you want to arrive at an exact discounted price without calculating discount percentages that could contain many decimals. A discount tier represents a single discount level for a discount schedule. For example, 1 through 20 products receive a 40% discount. You can create a tier in your discount schedule's discount tiers related list. Q3. What is pricing guidance? Answer. Pricing guidance uses Salesforce analytics to create recommended discounts based on historical pricing trends. You can then assign pricing guidance to your products. When a sales rep adds a product with pricing guidance to their quote, they can see the target, norm, and flow discount recommendations in the quote line editor. Q4. What is Revenue Cloud? Answer. Revenue Cloud is a part of the Salesforce Customer 360 platform and includes Salesforce CPQ and billing. It serves as the bridge between front and back office, unifying sales and finance teams. Revenue Cloud is an end to end revenue management tool and can be used to configure deals, negotiate pricing generate quotes, fulfill sales orders, send invoices, and collect payments, all on the Salesforce platform. Revenue Cloud also acts as a single source of truth for product, pricing, order, contract, and asset data. Q5. Explain key features of Service Cloud for Salesforce CPQ integration package. Answer. Service Cloud for Salesforce CPQ is a managed package that provides sales contract features to Service Cloud users. Once enabled it replaces contracts with service contracts and subscriptions with service contract line items. 
This package can be installed on top of Salesforce CPQ to provide a bridge for the sales to service handoff using service contracts. As soon as the service contract is generated, entitlements are generated and a process is kicked off to create the work order. This allows the service contract to become a point of entry for service cloud users. Q6. Explain the use of Visualize Product Hierarchy Package Level Setting. Answer. Setting Visualize Product Hierarchy Package Level Setting to true indents the product names in quote lines that represent options, so that you can easily see that they're related to the lead product. Checking this setting makes bundles easier to distinguish in the quote line editor. Q7. Explain the use of the product family picklist. Answer. Product family picklist is used to categorize products. For example, if a financial company sells both home loans and auto loans, you can create two product families, home loan and auto loan. If the above mentioned insurance company uses forecasting, Users can have a different quota for home loan sales and auto loan sales. Users can also view forecasts for opportunities with home loan products separate from opportunities that include auto loan products. Q8. Explain the use of search filters. Answer. Quote line editor's search filter is used to filter products, assets, or subscriptions by their field values. Select add products in the quote line editor, and then select the filter icon to show the search filter box. You can search by product code, product name, product family, and product description by default. You can also add and remove standard or custom fields to any search filter by editing the product object search filter field set. Q9. What are configuration attributes? Answer. Configuration attributes are used to set the value of multiple shared product option fields simultaneously. You can have up to three configuration attributes in a row. When you set a configuration attributes value, Salesforce CPQ applies it across all matching fields in your bundle. Salesforce CPQ then considers all configurator scoped product rules and price rules with parameters that match the changed values. Configuration attributes can inherit their default values from a quote or quote group. Q10. What is the quote to cash process? Answer. The quote to cash process covers the end to end functions related to sales activity of a company. The key steps in quote to cash process are 1. Create opportunity. 2. Create quote, Salesforce CPQ. 3. Create contract. 4. Create order. 5. Fulfill order. 6. Create invoice. 7. Process payment. Q11. What is quote template? Answer. A quote template is a combination of predetermined formatting elements for the arrangement of quote data for presentation, typically in PDF format. Similar to Salesforce email templates, a quote template contains the design, content, and layout of your generated quote documents. Some content can be dynamic, such as the expiration date, while other content can be static, like the company address or slogan. You can define dynamic content using merge fields as you would elsewhere in Salesforce. Q12 what is template content? Answer. Template content is an element of the quote template where the content is stored and is used to display the varying portions of the template. 
Administrators can create and modify these records using the supplied rich text editor, or by modifying the underlying HTML and inline CSS directly. Q13. What is template section? Answer. Template section contains the template content you want displayed and where to display it vertically on the quote document. Template sections represent the structure of the content throughout the quote template. www.salesforcestart.com